one between Echo and Team Hawk. Right Welcome off the bat, you can see Legend. Hilda's already finding her way into the opposition jungle. Here it comes, but uh, we're gonna have a red star, seems like. Yep. It's a uh, mirrored start, and you called it, it's Grok in the jungle. Yep. yep. The Grok in the jungle, it's, again, just something that's really flexible, right? That's the only thing I have to say. We haven't seen much of this right now. Min actually Aww. still jumping into the enemy jungle onto Carl TZ. Min's gonna be stunned up as Sanji jumps in Whoa. with the rotation. That's gonna be the wall popped in and Min's gonna be caught low. Has Damn a sprint, Sanji oh. the flicker. Finds first blood. And there you have it. That's the loud and proud from Echo. They were not expecting a quick response. Team Hawk, Echo seems to have found the solution. Yeah, but a lot of times what Team Hawk does with Hilda is they will die a few times in the early game just to grant vision. Sometimes they just don't care about this early game death. They know, okay, I'm gonna sacrifice myself, but the vision is more important. You can see Hilda, despite the death, is now making way onto the bottom side to find more aggression already. But the question is, was it 400, 300 gold in the first minute worth it, right? Yes, absolutely. I mean, it, oh, here we go. There's a lot being placed in with the wild charge and even that Jeet Kune Do. Oh. Yaoi picks, up, picks it up in the end and it's still just 2-0. Great start for Echo. Dave, I said, was it worth 300, 400? <laughs> now is it worth 1,000? Oh, 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 outside, another pickup for Team Hawk. Now they have a really open awesome map on the top lane. 12 seconds before the turtle. Panda is going to be dove on that final hit, and he fades away. Benny picking up a whole lot of turret gold, too. And it's 1,000 on the board already for Echo. Yeah, I mean, yes, you have 1,000 gold lead, and turtle is coming up. And look at the both side jungler, though. Oh, uh, bottom lane. Man, able to dish out so much damage, but Benny still is able to survive. Meanwhile, the top lane, yeah, he finds the Jeet oh. Flicker, brings the jungler back to Sanji for him to pick up, and it's turtle number one, secured by Echo. Dave, are you seeing this? It's about 2k ahead in two minutes. Yeah, I know, it's absolutely insane. This is aggression on aggression right here. Hilda is already, again, looking for a vision here, but sometimes if you actually die too much in the early game, it might not turn your favor in this case, right? Min, even though like he's in the enemy side, he's finding this vision, and Kauti uh, knows this, but it doesn't seem like it's getting too much done besides just dying over and over again. He's a distraction. And right go. now, he's Three trying people. to buy as much time as possible. So, uh, Yaoi jumps in with the Jeet Kune Do, bringing him back with that way the Dragon. Min's gonna fall for the third time in this game. And it's still just Echo controlling the pace of the game. Despite that way of the Dragon being slightly off angle, there was enough damage between the three members of Echo to punish Min. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Hilda right now going in, this is something, even though he's dying though, I gotta give them benefit because we saw the game that uh, uh, Team Valley went against, right? Even though Hilda was dying, but he was distracting so many people. And the other lanes are farming because Hilda knows exactly where your opponents are. So this might be something they're doing right here as well. Well, there's still maybe a couple more turtles for them to hedge on that. Yeah. But right now, Echo seems to still be on top of the just to-do list for Team yeah. Hawk, right? You kill the Hilda, and then you move on and convert. It doesn't really bother the laners of Echo. Doesn't at all, right? They're even just grouping up here. It's oh. in the top lane oh. here, the XP lane. It's 1v1, Lola versus Sanford. Lola using that Petrify earlier to regain some HP. As in the bottom lane, the gold lane, it does seem like both Man and Panda has been taken low by a dive attempt by Echo. Yeah, but it just trade off on skills. So you can see Echo does have the control on the map. Despite the Hilda, I mean, this they really thought about how to counter this guy. Even though the early game, I thought they wouldn't have the damage to kill someone as beefy, as tanky as Hilda, but I was proven wrong. And now the second turtle is spawning. You can see Echo is already in position to contest this objective yet again. It's just full control right yep. now for Echo. 2.4k gold lead, a lot of gold being placed into one of the core members. We said it, Sanji on the Farsa, 2-0 and 1. You got wave clear, you got poke, and on the Farsa, you have the wings by wings. That's additional rotation speed across the map. Team Hawk don't really have an answer to that right now. Well, there was a small response oh. from them. Can Gary get out? He's okay. I think this is the response from Team Hawk, is just try to pressure Benny. Send dudes down into that gold lane. Then yeah. I mean, look at Yaoi here on the bottom side, getting vision from the Hilda. Just, oh, look at, let's take a look at the item right now, as well as emblems. 
I feel like both sides are picking about a similar, you know? For marksmen, they just want to have a safe laning phase. Yeah, what worries me is the difference between the different junglers, right? It's a clear tank utility jungler oh, on all right. But wait, Yaoi! An uncharacteristic miss from Yaoi as he gets punished. Min picks up a kill. Honestly, in that conversion, Min, I think that's the worst player to have a kill on, especially considering he's just been a distraction for Team Hawk. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, once you get a kill, you reset the, the goal count. And if you die again, that's another 200 gold to the enemy pocket. Especially you lose the key winning condition, which is the vision factor. Yeah, but at this point, I think THQ, Hawk, is just happy to have a kill, right? Punish the lover boy, and oh. they go from there. Just as you say it, they get another in the gold lane. Actually ambushing Carl TZ and finally getting a grip back on the game. You know, I gotta give some credit to Team Hack's entire draft strategy and philosophy. The Dyroth is one of the best characters, fighters to kill Tank. You know, now you're thinking about, yes, they're lacking crowd control, but because it's so easy for them to kill tanks, just with a little bit of slow that they have, they're able to do it. And we can expect for this to get a little better as they get items and they build up confidence and they figure out what exactly Echo is trying to do as they push this bottom lane turret. Oh, what a, what a, what a mirror move. Top lane too. Echo gets that. Trade, right? XP for gold and Mola had to just give up that XP lane. Knowing he was playing the weak side of the map, he would much rather just come to the mid lane, rotate over and help the other members. But right now, it does seem like Yaoi wants to look for just additional mid control with Sanji as that is actually gonna be Yaoi once again poked down by Min. Mon's rotating already, but pay attention to Echo's positioning as Kaldi oh. jumps into the wall charge. Sanford joins in and it's an all out collapse. Don't. Kaldi's gonna fall, but Lola jumps into the back line with Retrofy, finding Yaoi. The Furious Dive not able to find them, but Team Hop have won the team fight. They're going on to the turtle and this is the turnaround. A tough 5v4 situation for Echo that Team Hawk capitalized on. Dave, Hawk got a turtle here. Yeah, I mean, there are two reasons for the key, for the key of the victory for Team Hawk. They have Hilda, it's becoming increasingly harder to kill now. Now you can see Hilda jumping into the child. They can't do anything to him. They don't want to waste skills on him either. At the same time, Ujong is slowly but surely become a monster to the back line. You saw how much threat he posed to the middle layer, to Sanjay on the far side. And we're expecting that exactly, right, from Team Hawk. They survived the early game uh, counter from Echo on that Hilda strat, and then now there's this mid-game power spike. The mid-game power spike is going to be quite massive for both of these teams, like looking at their compositions. But honestly, I do feel like the later the game goes, it's so even. Both teams have just drafted themselves for a very good early mid and even late stage. But it does seem like Akko's making a comeback here. I mean, sorry, Team Hawk is making a comeback. Look at Akko's uh, marksman. Look at Bendy QT on the carry. 58, 6,000 gold, about 1,200 gold ahead on the opposition. This carry is going to be an absolute unstoppable oh. force in a little bit. Yeah. Early pop on the fence. Yeah, Lola! Black Dragon formed by Lola. Trying to find someone. Out called. He's going to be petrified there, but does have the wild charge to get out. Now, Team Hawk once again jumping in. Yaoi going to be able to find the way to the dragon, but it's going to be brought back to the team. Panda with an amazing position right now. But it's going to be bending QT3 hitting as well. Oh! Lola's oh! Flickering forward against the members. Bending QT still able to find some damage before getting shut down by Min. Sanford now running back. It's a three for two. A flicker forward by Benny, holy moly! But the air strike comes in, Panda still able to fall, actually, Aww. but the damage is enough. Now it's gonna be 1v3! Oh. Min gets shut down, and Sanji picks up a double! A delayed wipeout off the back of the storm's aggression. Benny Cutie has entered the building. Yes, Benny Cutie with the flank on the marksman. We talk about Echo's character playstyle is to split push, is to flank, and they do it on every single position, including the marksman. That's insane. Yep, you're expecting the split push or that angle from Benny Cutie from Echo in the late game, and we were just talking about that mid game spike. And again, this is the evolution of the storm. But oh, go. Benny has arrived, man, very low. Sanji's gonna be caught, shut down by Gary. This is it. It's gonna be the flicker, actually, by Call Tizi. So let's jump in the back line. Benny with no flicker. Lola, Lola versus the world right now. He's oh. still able to dish out the damage. Taking the kill back oh. and even surviving with one. Call Tizi gonna be gunned down now with Panda chasing him. It's a four for zero for Team Hop. The gold been equalized, but Echo found the Lord. The Malaysians have caught the Filipino team slacking, and yeah, they got the Lord, but they just had one dude left. 
four for none. Team Hawk on the swing back. Yes, Echo used everything they got to burst down the Lord, and the Malaysian team find the opening. They just find one target at a time, starting from the middle laner. This is a very, very united team. Five men moving together. You can see just sweep through the opposition on the map, one after one. This is so good to watch. Oh my goodness. Oh, the Echo didn't even get to capitalize on the Lord. Yep. Uh, yeah, it fought what? Maybe five to ten seconds? But Echo now have to reconsider. Oh, yeah, we get here to go. Hit. On to Mint. He's going to be bursted down, melted, taken out of the game. Now you see him, now you don't. Looking at it, Man still wants to be able to clear this wave, defending the tier one in the mid lane. Let's talk about how Team Hawk fought with a 5,000 gold deficit and won. It's sometimes not about a gold deficit, it's about number advantage, right? They started off with five on one to take down Sunji in the mid lane, and then they move on to the Lord and start taking over the fight. So because of one fight alone, the even of the total gold and now actually on top, the one I'm actually worried about is still gonna be Benny QT on the late game. This guy's getting so much farm, and if you don't can kill Carry next time, it might be Carry turning around and wipe out the entire set of Team Hot. All right, good news, bad news. Benny Cutie is a brewing storm. Uh, he showed us a little bit of what he can dip out later on, but bad news is there's an answer. Lola will constantly be looking for him. So I guess it's more of a matter of deterrence. Like, can I find you? And are you gonna have the confidence to find that angle again, knowing that I'm here? And I think right there, especially in the fight that Benny flickered forward, it was great for them because it was a curveball, right? As a Yu Zong, as you know, if you're Lola, you would expect, I wanna dive to the back line. Mm -hmm. For Min too. If Benny flickers forward, they're like, wait. He's not here. He's what? not here. What, what happened? No, it's home. It's actually the opposite. It's like a re reverse psychology, should mm -hmm. I say? They do the things that you least expect. Here comes Min, finding the vision. He does not care. Walking through every bush safely. But here comes Gary. Oh, oh Yowie! Finds the Kunda, but only to Min right now. That's gonna be the wild charge, knocking three up. But that's the real world inflation doing damage. Man now still gonna be able to sprint out as Gary oh. jumps in. Sanford gonna be able to find their kills. Lola still able to actually back off. Call Benny. Easy and Benny right now, looking for some more. But it's just the roamer traded in for the mid laner. Echo with a favorable trade. Wow, what a trade right here. And this is what I was talking about. Lola trying to find the flank again onto carry, but Benny QD is getting tankier and tankier as we go. If you cannot one-shot this marksman, she will turn it around and everyone will perish. Yep, and again, icing on the cake. Benny Cutie did not need to use his flicker to win that engagement. That's so, so good for yeah. Echo. And, and it's gonna convert into this Lord. I just don't know if it's for free. I'm not sure if Team Hawk is even considering uh, going for a contest, but the way the map looks, it looks like, yeah, Echo is going to score a Luminous Lord. Oh, that's gonna be really tough for Team Hawk. Even while they had the gold lead just for a bit, they weren't able to convert on objectives. Now, they're finally able to find a turret tier one up top, trading it for the Lord. But with this composition, Echo just has a bit more to say when it comes down to sieges. Yeah, absolutely. You have Parsa with a lot of pressure with the ultimate. Lord is going to go down from the top side. That means the mid two towers are not going to stand for any longer. Yep, uh, given that the first Lord, yeah, Echo just flubbed that. THQ, they defended so well. Now. The minions have become enhanced even more, so they can leave lanes and start going. Oh, Sanji popping oh. an early feathered airstrike. Yeah, we're looking for an angle. Can he get it? All right, main artery penetrated. Echo making moves on the map. Tier one taken down the mid lane as they focus once again to rotate across the map. Min already positioned. Sanford spots him, but Min still wants to just act as a distraction, buying as much time as possible. Meanwhile, though, you do see in the mid lane and even in the bottom lane, the tier two was taken down. Team Hawk still able to micromanage really well, taking the Lord down and defending pretty well. Yeah, they only lost, I think, like two towers, one on the bottom side, one in mid. I mean, Echo, even though they parallel, they sync the wave really, really well, but Team Hawk surprisingly able to pull off this defense, I think largely it's thanks to Eve and Arathel. They're doing all right here. So again, it's another swing back. Echo at the lead once more. A very, very small lead, mind you. But the map is looking blue all throughout. I think that's oh. what happens when you get these major objectives and your opponents are forced to rotate together. See how closely Team Hawk is. Oh, and you can see, honestly, just the way Man's playing, right? He's trying to bait out Yaoi's uh, Jeet Kune Do flicker because he does have that purify, right? Uh, Man, notice his positioning. Always 
somewhat just in the middle or in front, actually. Yep, and I think what that bought for Panda is a lot of gold. Yeah, look at Panda's gold right now. The thing that the worst me increasingly for Team Hawk is Aretha when it gets a late game. Yes, does a lot of damage, but that's only for squishy characters. And if you look at Echo, how tanky Whoa. their front line is. Oh, Carl TZ getting poked out. He's so, so low. Carl TZ gonna have to back off for a bit. Sanford opening up the map once again. That's gonna be the Black Dragon form popped in by Lola. Instant disengage from Echo, but it's gonna be Benny QT's gonna be the target right now. It's actually gonna be Sanji caught. He's gonna be stuffed up. He's gonna be slain. Min losing immortality right now in front of it, but the real world of Blade catches two. Lola tries to rectify, but it's gonna be melted down. No. Benny QT once again bring it forward. Benny, 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 Benny! With the triple kill, still somehow saving the game. Team Hawk, they got that in the pocket. Mon still with Gary, more resources to play with. Three for three, what a tough trade. They will happen. Yeah, I would think the most important Team Hawk's victory there is Min's survival. He survived, it's able to do the magic damage needed to kill Gary, because that's probably the only character right now that can do that amount of damage. Off, of course, on top of you, Gary on the side, just doing the swings, doing the skill one, two, three combo. So I think that's the only reason that Benny Kuti got taken down. If this character stays alive, that could be Echo, complete sweep, and could have been again, actually. Yep, in the long run, it seemed like Echo was out of the woods. It seemed like they baited out almost every possible ult that THQ could put on the map, but so far, it looked like THQ were hiding some aces, hiding some kings, and now look, Yowie. Uh-oh, that's the mortality popped in. Sanji's gonna be caught by the collapse from the Malaysian champions. Once again, that's a two for zero, Min and a Midst of it all, gonna be caught with the bravest fighter and the stun. That's gonna be Lola jumping in as well. Mean gonna lose a lot of HP, but still gonna be able to survive with one HP. E Bump and Hawk, they're here to come and play. Oh, check the base. Then Cutie had to go home and defend. Carl Tizi just whacking away at these minions one at a time. It looks like the split push kings are the one who's gonna get split push themselves. THQ converting into a straight lord. It's a luminous lord for the Malaysians. What? What a play from Team Hawk. And I gotta say, I see a different level of Team Hawk right here. They're so disciplined. They go on one target at a time. Despite the fact that Man was zoning the entire backline of Team Echo, he quickly made a comeback to reunite with Lola to win that team fight and eventually survive with Sliver of Health. I'd say maybe in, in the five or six major team fights in this 17 minute game, Team Hawk have been so good on the recovery. Uh, on a mechanical level, you'd say Echo are just waiting for battle spells, waiting for ults, right? But Team Hawk always have that next level, always have that decision after the post engage. 3.5k gold lead in the 17 minute of the game oh. with the Evolved Lord, Enhanced Lord still marching down in that bottom lane. This is a tough defense. Can Echo do it? Looking for that first engage. There's a Feather Dare strike. Slowly but surely, Team Hawk making their way oh. in. Black Dragon form! Lola into the midst, jumps in, gets out with a Furious Diamond. That's gonna be the bravest fighter catching Panda. It's the flicker away by Panda right now. Oh. That's gonna be Sanford, still surviving. Echo have cleared the Lord out. Team Hawk deciding to go back to the mid lane. Gets the base turret down, rotating up top. Yowie! Finds Panda! Furious Diamond pops in. Bit of UT finds the kill on the Panda as Lola's gonna be caught. Immortality pops, and that's Lola falling to the hands of Benny. But Team Hawk have taken two base turrets. At the price of your inhibitors, Echo have gone with a stellar defense, and they've sent Team Hawk packing, going home. How can Echo capitalize? I mean, Echo at this point, there's not enough minion wave, and also Team Hawk made a really good decision to retreat really fast. Let's take a look at the team fight. It started off from Yaoi really decisive engage, and I gotta see the wall. Bump Coward TZ is insane over there. Just blocking two people away. You can see Team Hawk just quickly retreated. They want to make sure you don't capitalize on the death. Oh! Yowie saved the game with the way the dragon now getting caught. Team Hawk looking to capitalize as Echo disengages. Min jumping in, looking for a play. Sanford gonna be caught low as Gary jumps in for the damage. Oh! Oh, connects on the two. Min's gonna lose the immortality as Gary once Benny. again is looking for some damage. Benny gonna be caught. Panda does some damage back. Oh, oh my god! Benny finds the killing spree. Bravest fighter on the back line as Panda's gonna be stunned up. That's Sanford dealing so much onto Panda. But here's Lola as well. Panda gonna be taken down. Lola to the back line. Benny with a flicker out. Gary's still low. Benny chasing. Oh! It's a shutdown for Benny QT. Damn you, Benny. Why are you so good? 11-3-3. Three, three. Gonna go ahead and help Sanji clear out. 
but that could have been so much worse for Echo. Team Hawk getting real scrappy, they know they're ahead, but Echo still know the right decision at the right time. The map is against them, but so far it's not over. Here's an evolved Lord Dave. What's this Lord looking like? Chances for either team to get it? I mean, it seems like it's gonna be 80 to 20 for the favor of Echo right now. They have four up compared to only two. And on top of the fact that here, you have Retribution from CarTZ, and you have this Shredder from Carry. Look at Benny Cutie just losing the drop in HP of the Lord in a matter of seconds. Benny. Just Benny. Just Benny. Benny. That's all I have to say. Yep. And honestly, that's all we have to say. That fight, he just popped off. It seems to be either Benny gets caught out or Benny just takes over. It's just one or the other. And so far, he's, he's slowly understanding more the, the decision process for Lola. It's a little like he knows more and more better when Lola's going to try to find him. Exactly, and Lola used the dragon form to come looking for him, and that's when, after the dragon's done, that's when Kerry showed up again into the team by rejoining the team fight and actually shredded everybody on the map. They're really fighting this fight well, slowly but surely and steadily. Oh, Honestly, man. looking at how they're going to be pushing now, Team Hawk with the Evolved Lord, right? It's Echo pushing in with a 4,000 gold lead. It doesn't really mean much in the later stage of the game because everybody has gone to a point where it's all full items. How do they do Team Hawk defend this? I mean, it, right now with the Lord, and by the way, I like the details from Cartes just now. They block the path for the Lord. This way, Lord's gonna take longer to go to the base. Yep. And this will allow more super minions to come out, and that will really help you when you push the base. They're increasing every chance they can get, and here comes the push. Evolve Lord, cracking the base. Base start number one taken down. Team Hawk looking for that defense right now as Lola jumps in with a Black Dragon form, just zoning Echo away. Lord at 10,000 HP, melted down. Real world regulation popped in the mid lane to clear out the wave and to zone Echo away. Team Hawk with a masterful defense. Clean from the Malaysian squad, the MPL Season 10 MY champions. There's a lot of ult spent though to get that done. Yaoi looking for one. Here we go. Yaoi gonna flicker forward. Winner crunched by Gary to bait it out. Sanford now helping his teammate, but Yaoi gonna be taken low. Still alive. That's both teams disengaging, but it's Echo who and finds base turret. Min still looking for something as he opens up the map. Mon gonna be able to slow some people down with the Ice Queen one and the second ability. Min still again oh. jumping in. Benny gonna be able to dash away from the wall. Team Hawk still chasing but they will not be able to find it. It's a flicker, made it out. Oh. Sanji, no flicker! Lola, with the Black Dragon form, comes in. With a truncheon, made it out. Sanford gonna be gone in the midst of it all. It's actually Sanji, losing the mortality. Gary picks up one. It's a one for zero, but 22 minutes on in the game. 50 seconds for the respawn timers. Oh, and this whole time it's just mid in the base defending. Are we looking at potential clapback from Echo? They were also left reeling. They were gassed from that last team fight. Dave, we're down to one inhibitor for Team Hawk. I mean, this is such an even game, actually. Oh, no there's more. no more. Oh. The mini wave's too strong. I was thinking just a Hilda alone is not gonna cut you it. You can't. You can't. And by the way, at this point, Carry is the deciding factor. Can you take down Benny? Is the win condition for Hawk? And it doesn't seem like they have the resources to do it. It's gonna be up to Dyroth, Eve, and you don't jump in at the exact same time to even have a chance on Benny. Is this the longest game in M4 so far? Approaching. I Approaching. think uh, Occupy had uh, won a one long game against the RRQ Hoshi uh, in the group stage. But here in the knockout, boy oh boy. Best believe stakes are much, much higher. Lord here, approaching half health. Oh, look at where Benny is, look at where Benny is. Uh-oh, no waiting once again. Lola gonna be able to actually jump in. Sanford doing the same thing right now. Black Dragon form pops in, that's gonna be Yaoi finding the way the Dragon. Yaoi's gonna be taken down right now. Back but look at the lane right now. Team Hawk's gonna be able to look for the Lord. So Benny is still walking back, Benny. trying to save the game. Benny in the mid lane, Benny, looking the for a big play. Benny. Has been wave, flickering forward. Benny. 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 In the best of five, loud and proud, that's their trademark. The split push, y'all did cover up your back doors and Benny came a knocking. One zero in this best of five. Echo goes on, scores the first win. Dave, you see that coming? <laughs> well, when you pointed out about Benny's position, I think the entire stage, entire world was looking at him just 
quietly and secretly planning the backdoor, and they did it. You cannot look for a jungler to backdoor for Echo is their marksman. Well, They've done this two times now. They've, at this point, for me, Bro. countless times. <laughs> but did you see where exactly Benny set it up? He set it up from such a long angle. What, was that river, mid-river? Yep.